If you do most of your cooking at home, chances are you're probably already familiar with the Instant Pot Multi-Cooker. It's a new kitchen gadget that seemingly everybody has and the internet can't shut up about. But I'd be willing to bet when you were growing up, your mom had a Crock-Pot branded slow cooker under the counter that she loved just as much. Crock-Pot has since come up with their own multi-cooker to compete with the Instant Pot. So we decided to see if an old company can learn some new tricks. The first thing you'll notice when you have the crock pot and instant pot side by side is that the crock pot multi cooker is actually slightly larger than the instant pot despite them being able to hold the same amount of food or liquid. The instant pot is already kind of bulky though, so if you've committed to giving up the counter space already, a few more inches probably won't matter. The second thing that you'll probably notice right out of the gate is that the crock pot multi cooker comes with a non stick pot insert and the instant pot is stainless steel. You can buy a non stick pot for the instant pot as well, but but it doesn't come with one out of the box. The non-stick pot is definitely easier to clean than the plain stainless steel pot, but since it's non-stick, it'll probably also need to be replaced sooner. Also, since non-stick scratches easily, using metal utensils with the crock pot is out of the question. The lids on both the crock pot and the Instant Pot multi-cookers are removable, making it easier to wash and maintain them. While neither were particularly tough to lock or remove, the crock pot's top has a slightly superior design, meaning that it goes on and off without a hitch each time. It didn't happen all the time, but we occasionally would have to monkey with the Instant Pot for a bit to get the top on or off. Not really a huge deal, but also not something you'll want to have to deal with when the contents inside are piping hot and you're trying to be careful. Both the Instant Pot and the crock pot have a plethora of controls and buttons on the front of them. At first glance, either one can be a little overwhelming, but we found that in general, the crock pot's controls were slightly more intuitive and helpful than the Instant Pot controls. We particularly like the Instant Pot's ability to manually adjust the temperature and pressure on some settings. The Instant Pot only allows you to mess with the pressure amount, if you so choose. Also, the presets made a little more sense on the crock pot. When cooking a risotto, we were able to simply assemble the ingredients and hit the risotto button. When cooking the same dish in the Instant Pot, some research is necessary. Which brings us to our next point. Since the controls on the crock pot were a little more intuitive, it means spending less time in the manual trying to figure out what settings are actually being called for. The Instant Pot does have a huge online following with plenty of websites and forums dedicated to recipes and discussions about what works and what doesn't. So if you're willing to do a bit more research, the resources are definitely there to let you do that. In all, the Instant Pot and the Crock-Pot Multi-Cooker more or less perform the same, but the convenience of a non-stick pan, the better lid design, and the more intuitive controls edge the Crock-Pot Multi-Cooker into the lead. And as icing on the cake, the crock pot multi cooker generally sells for about half of what the instant pot goes for. So if you're in the market for an instant pot because you've been hearing nothing but great things, maybe take a second look. It could be that the crock pot brand your mom trusted has a better product for you after all. <laughs>